Hey, old Pete here out on the trap line. Been a while since I did a video. Um, haven't been trapping most of November. I just put some sets out uh, Saturday. This is uh, Monday. Um, and uh, uh, I put some snares out on a new property and, um, and you know, just gonna take the week off and do a little snare and then a little bow hunting um, with my daughter. Uh, for deer and so I just came down to check these snares today and well, I, yesterday we had a like we had like 40 mile an hour wind it's terrible out here I think I was the only living creature out here but um but anyway I went to my first spot to check I didn't have anything and then I came down to this spot and I had a coyote the snare caught him really weird it caught him around the like in the mouth and around the back of the head so I don't know if he was running with his mouth open maybe or I I I don't know. Uh, this is the first for me. I've never caught a coyote in the mouth and around the back of the head. I've caught a couple by the nose um, where they, they were probably snare shy and backed out of the snare, you know, once they realized because they would played that game before and it got around the nose. But, but anyway, so he's all bloody from, from the snare. Uh, and uh, so let me show him to you and then let me show you the set. So there he is. He's all bloody down the front. And um, so he's not real pretty right now, but it's a big male. So I'm sure once I clean that fur up, he'll be fine. And then here's the set. Let me back up a little bit so you can see, get down here. So there's the set. You see the snare right there. This trail drops down into this dry wash. Um, so you can see that the wash down there. And there's, this is kind of a cool place because Right over there next to that Russian olive tree is where I walked up on a mountain lion three years ago when I was out here in the early morning checking traps. And uh, she was she was about 10 yards away from me and I thought she was gonna bolt and run, but she did and she just crouched down, you know, like she was gonna pounce. So I pulled out my Ruger single six 22 revolver, shot her right in the head and uh, she's on the wall of my office. Is my second cat my first one i shot with hounds um but anyway uh so this is a cool little place there's not a ton of action down here um all the time but this little wash that runs through here gets gets is a travel way um, and there's there's year-round water over over that way uh, to, to the west and then there's there's a lot of open rangeland and desert to the east and this dry wash kind of runs between on this property i have permission to to trap on well actually i asked to trap on it i've been asked to trap on it um but anyway it's, i trapped for this rancher and this wash is just a little highway of critters so uh i was surprised to run into a mountain lion but i uh, but i kind of wasn't either because this is the deer run through here the coyotes run through here the only thing i haven't seen in here is bobcats which is odd because there's just a mile south of here there's a there's plenty of bobcats but for some reason they haven't found this wash it's full of rabbits and everything but anyway i'm gonna get going down and, and if i have catch anything else today i'll shoot another video hope everybody's having a good season and uh one more one more look at the snare here coyote eye view the snare I make my coyote snares about 12 inches big and about 10 inches off the ground, 8 to 10 inches off the ground. So, all right, we'll see. Remember, God is great, guns are good, and freedom is precious.